Hi, this is Tom from ZeroToFinals.com. In this video, I'm going to be going through pyloric stenosis. And you can find written notes on this topic at ZeroToFinals.com slash pyloric stenosis or in the gastroenterology section of the Zero to Finals Pediatrics book. So let's jump straight in. The pyloric sphincter is a ring of smooth muscle that forms the canal between the stomach and the duodenum. Hypertrophy, which is thickening and therefore narrowing of the pylorus, is called pyloric stenosis. This prevents food travelling from the stomach to the duodenum as normal. After feeding, there's increasingly powerful peristalsis in the stomach as the stomach tries to push food into the duodenum. Eventually, the peristalsis becomes so powerful that it ejects food into the esophagus, out of the mouth and across the room. And this is described as projectile vomiting. Let's talk about the features. Pyloric stenosis typically presents in the first few weeks of life with a hungry baby that is thin, pale and generally failing to thrive. The classic description of vomiting that you should remember for your exams is projectile vomiting. If you examine the baby after they've had a feed, you may be able to see the powerful peristalsis in the stomach by observing the abdomen. A firm, round mass can be felt in the upper abdomen that feels like a large olive, and this is caused by the hypertrophic muscle of the pylorus. If you do a blood gas analysis, it will show hypochloric, meaning low chloride, metabolic alkalosis as the baby is vomiting the hydrochloric acid away from the stomach. This is a common data interpretation question in your exams, so it's worth remembering this fact. Let's talk about the management. Diagnosis can be made using abdominal ultrasound to visualize the thickened pylorus. And treatment involves a procedure called a laparoscopic pyloromyotomy, which is known as Ramstead's operation. An incision is made in the smooth muscle of the pylorus to widen the canal and allow food to pass from the stomach to the geodenum as normal. And the prognosis is excellent following the operation. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, left a comment or subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, it really helps. Zero to Finals is not just a YouTube channel. There's also a website with detailed notes, illustrations and questions, an Instagram account where new questions are posted every day to help you test your knowledge, books, flashcards and much more. I also have a personal channel where I share my thoughts and tips on learning medicine and you can find links to everything in the description of this video. See you next time.